That's impossible to answer. But this is a straw that we know about. This is one that we can avoid. There is no solution, and there's no hope for a solution. As long as there are eight dams in the way. What the environmentalists are wreaking on, on the rural denizens of the Pacific Northwest is a moral wrong. It is a form of oppression. If they ruin the Snake River dams, that's what will result. You know, there will be that those people who, whose lives are ruined and destroyed for no reason. Salmon recovery is about sharing the resources of the river system in a more equitable way. So the challenge here is to get past the polarizing garbage that's out there from stakeholders who have a, an ax to grind uh, one way or the other and, and, and find a consensus plan that truly addresses the needs of, of all the people. If somebody came to you today and, and said, Mark, I have we're going to give you the power to decide whether these dams come out or not, what would you say? I'd honestly have to say no. I really would. I would try to find some other way. If it means to put families and stuff out, out of business, no, I'm not for that either. I, because I know how much they're going to fight for it. They're not going to go down. They're not just going to go down without a fight. These are independent people that you're talking about. These aren't people that go to work eight hours a day. These are people that put their blood, sweat, and tears into this. I'm Reed Burkholder, and I think I was the first one to publicly make the case that we should tear out four dams. I mean, the story was is that I went back to the Salmon River of my childhood, which is the South Fork of the Salmon River. And I went to the Idaho Fish and Game guys at the fish trap and I said, what happened to the fish? When I left, we were fishing for salmon in this river and now there's no fishing. In that year, I started researching what was going on downstream and then I found four dams. This is an old, tired concept called damming rivers and flooding them to get two items. One is navigation and one is electricity. And then the conversation on those two items can go for the next six hours. <laughs>
Uh, it's dry land area is not very productive here. And uh, you no, know, it's just all done. Done. You support, in general, spending money on fish. Oh, you darn right. Yeah. Who wouldn't? You know, uh, kids and their grandkids are here. I want this river clean. I want it to be pretty. I want that land to be good for them. We want the same things. We want it done properly, fiscally responsibly, and scientifically based around common sense. That's, well, I don't think that's a tough request, you know?